All right, hey there. Um, I was getting ready to make this video on the Extreme Overclock BIOS for the Asus GTX 1080 Strix, um, but NVIDIA released this new driver today um, as I was getting ready to flash. It's the 384.76 driver, and that is to replace the 382.53 driver. Um, I am currently and have been using the 1B BIOS revision, which has been working well. And I decided that I would go ahead and retest with this new driver. Um, I went ahead and retested Firestrike. And this was the score that I had with the old driver, 18,671. With the new driver, I bumped up almost 300, oh, a little over 300 points, 18,978. Um, you can go ahead and pull down detailed scores, and we see that with the new driver, we end up with a graphic score of 23,836, and with the old driver, we had a graphic score of 23,515. So pretty big jump there just from a driver change. And now I'm gonna go ahead and flash the card to the Extreme Overclock BIOS. All right, I'm back here and you can see that I have the BIOS version 86.04.17.00.76. That is the Asus extreme overclocking uh, BIOS that you can get at Tech Power Up. Um, I have tried to get this chip to run above 2113, so let's see, we've got 2113 at 1.1 volts, um, and I've tried everywhere, actually 2113 will run fine down here at uh, 1.075 volts um, but I've tried everything from 1.075 volts all the way up to as you can see here 1.2 volts this is down in millivolts here and this is uh, our frequency and no matter what we crash in 3d mark um, in fire strike so obviously for this chip on air um, there's no point to having the voltage unlocked because I can't run it over 2114 uh, megahertz anyway so being in the locked voltage is fine. The other thing to look at here is our memory clock with the XOC is sitting at 500 uh, so plus 500 megahertz. Um, that's as much as I can get it to run without it artifacting really badly um, and with the 1B BIOS revision um, that I've been running I can run uh, plus 560 on the uh, memory clock and it's totally stable in 99% of cases so um, I'm gonna say that if you're on air there's no point to the XOC BIOS don't even bother downloading it um, but in the future, if I decide to run a full uh, water loop, uh, full you know uh, liquid cooling loop uh, for my test bench here, then uh, you know we might try this XOC BIOS again, um, or at some point in the future, if I decide to do dry ice or liquid nitrogen um, overclocking, you know those things might help. Um, to alleviate this issue that uh, the chip is having with trying to push beyond uh, 2114 megahertz um, at any voltage. So anyway, uh, hopefully that clears up the XOC BIOS for you guys. Sorry it took so long to get out there. Uh, if you like this video, found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. There will be more content coming out. I do appreciate your watching and I'll see you next time.